sitting like this? No. Okay, I think you get some idea that we already discussed about the perimeter and area of yes, rectangle and square. Is it rectangle and square? And you know the area and the perimeter both consist of length and breadth. Is it that is area length? This is the length and this is the breadth. You know, so length into breadth. Is it length into breadth? Length into breadth is the area of a rectangle. For a square, its length and breadth are same. So simply side into side. That is the length into breadth. Both are same. So we side into side. So we said side into side. For a rectangle, it is length into breadth. Is it length into breadth? You know, the longest measurement is known as length. Is it length and it is the breadth. Short one is breadth. So, this concept you already studied. And at last I said you to find out the area of a triangle using this rectangle. Is it? That is through a rectangle. How can we find out the area of a Triangle that was the task. Simply we can understand the activity video through this. What's this? Yes, the bread slice. Is it? So I think you all are very fond of bread sandwich. Is it? So usually we shouldn't take a full bread. Uh, when we have number of members in our family, we used to cut the bread. Is it cut the bread? Can you say how we cut the bread to make bread sandwich? Is this manner? No. This manner? No. Usually we cut. Yes, in this manner. Is it in this manner? Now you got to. Yes, to triangle shape. Is it to triangle? When we join the triangle, we get the square bread piece. When we cut through, cut through. Yes, the term diagonal, corner to corner. Is it alternative corners join together? That line is known as the diagonal. Is it for this for this rectangle, this line, it's the diagonal. Also, we can, yes, join these corners. So, two diagonals. In the case of square also, we have two diagonals. Is it the corner to corner connection is, is known as the diagonal. So, I took a square bread piece. And I cut through the diagonal so I get to triangular pieces. Is it? So, uh, first of all, we should spread cheese or mayonnaise according to your wish. Is it? So, we should spread cheese or mayonnaise throughout this surface. Is it? Throughout this surface. And you know that throughout this surface, this portion, it's not as Yes, area, is it? It's known as the area. So, the total bread slice, it's area of, yes, square. And this one, this one, yes, area of triangle, is it? Area of triangle. So, uh, spreading the cheese in this portion means area of this triangle portion area of this triangular portion i think now you got the concept is it so when we cut a square or a rectangle through the diagonal we get to equal triangle so the area area will be half is it Half, you know, the full area is divided into two equal parts. So, we get two equal triangles and the area becomes 
half is it so total area is length into breadth same side into side so the area of a triangle will be half into area of yes rectangle or square is it rectangle or square simply we can write it as half into length into breadth got it students i think now you got the concept that why i told you to take a rectangle to find out the area of a area of a yes triangle got the concept very good so cutting through diagonal of a rectangle or a square we get always yes triangle so that concept used to find out the area of triangle as half into length into breadth and what's the length when a, for a triangle for this for this square length breadth so for the triangle length breadth is it length breadth and you know this is a portion of a square so this is 90 degree is it 90 degree here you have 90 degree so length and breadth are length perpendicular to breadth is it length perpendicular to breadth you know this is a 90 degree so length and breadth are perpendicular is it when we take one side as length the perpendicular side perpendicular side to length is the breadth suppose for a triangle like this get okay? triangle like this you know for this type of triangles when we take one side this as length this as length this as length breadth will be the perpendicular 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 to that length got it its length the perpendicular is the breadth for this side we can draw it as yes. Simply the altitude. You already studied about the altitudes. Is it? That is the perpendicular length. So breadth will be altitude. So simply we can say that half into length into breadth. Half into length into breadth. Half into length into breadth. So simply we can say it as half into side into altitude. Got it? Half into side into altitude. So dear students, the area of triangle is half into length into breadth. Or we can say it as half into side into altitude. For this side, the altitude is this one. For this side, altitude is this one. For this side, the altitude will be this line. Got it, students? Then very next, uh, a simple change in the shape of the square we get. Can you say by making a simple change? Yes, parallelogram. A parallelogram. Got it? So, I cut a triangle from one side. Then, okay. Then I am joining that triangle to other side. Okay. This the same I did in that video. That is cut a triangle from one side. One end. Join the triangle at another end. Second end. Got it? Cut from here. Join here. Now we get a parallelogram. Got it? Parallelogram. So there is no change in the area. Is it? The area of this square piece is, yes, side into side, is it? Side into side. For rectangle, it's length into breadth. The same, side into side. So, when I cut a triangle from one side and join to another side, the area is that of the square itself, is it? So, the equation will be, yes, length into breadth. If we choose a rectangle, Side into side. Yes, if it is a square. And you know, length. Length, 
there is no change in length this is the length is it there is no change in length our length is this is the length so the length is same but breadth there is a small change in the breadth this edge this side is not the breadth breadth is here is it we know the breadth length into breadth side into side this is the breadth so there is no change in the length breadth is as we did in the triangle it's a perpendicular length is it for this length this is perpendicular got it students for this length this is perpendicular so the equation is same length into breadth length is the yes the side one side and breadth will be perpendicular distance from the opposite corner got it perpendicular distance from yes opposite corner for a parallelogram like this this is length and breadth will be this one got it student this one and when we take angles as length so the breadth will be this one that is the perpendicular perpendicular that is the perpendicular will be the breadth got it so simply for a rectangle length into breadth the same formula for a square side into side because length and breadth are same for a parallelogram the equation is length into breadth but length is one side breadth will be the perpendicular to that side and in the same way for a triangle half into length into breadth we can take it as half into one side and the altitude altitude to that side i hope now you can understand how we can apply the area of these two figures to find out the area of triangle and a parallelogram so, do the activity by taking a rectangle or a square of your choice and you have one more task find out what are the triangular shape objects we used in our daily life and also the parallelogram shaped objects we used in our daily life okay we'll catch you at the dcs time thank you